Hello guys, so today we're going to break down the community patch from patch 2.0 up to the current 2.1 for Borderlands the pre-sequel. Once again, this is only for PC players due to breaking the terms of service if this is done on PlayStation or Xbox. I'll link the file down below if you want to download it for yourself. And if this is the first time using the community patch, it also does come with the 1.0 changes, so there's nothing else you need to install except for this one file. And just one more thing if it's your first time, I will also link Shadow Evil's video that shows how to change the hex code, which allows all the changes to work and the game to accept the patch. So just check that out, download it, try it out, let me know what you guys think. But all credit for this patch goes to Jim Raven, Mike Soze, from Dark Hell, The Nocturne, Like Chaos Man, Zero Zero Schmidt, Jaw Fortune, Nikitaz, and Yugu for all their work on the project. So with that, let's get right into it. So first let's break down the character skill changes, starting with the doppelganger Jack. So in the Hero of the Story skill tree, the skill Bolster boosted the health to 4% when it was originally 3% per point. His skill Diversify now also adds 15% damage to your Digi Jacks. Resolute had the damage resistance buffed from 17% at maximum points up to 25% at maximum points. Which is a really good change. All these not too like game changing, game breaking. Now we can move to the greater good skill tree. The movement speed from skill winning was boosted up to 6% per point from 4%. And now finally the free enterprise skill tree. High frequency trading, which increased weapon swap speed, was increased to 20% from 15%. The melee override skill merger had its cooldown reduced from 20 seconds down to 12 seconds. His skill incentive stacks now last 12 seconds instead of 10 seconds. Next, both portions of skill supply and demand were buffed. Health regen was increased to 8% per point when it was originally 5 and ally healing bonus was increased to 50% instead of 20. Also, Jack's slam augmentation skill called laser surplus now adds 25% slam damage. The kill skill absolute advantage had its rocket effect buffed from 4% per point up to 6% per point. All right, so it sounded like a lot of changes, but really not that many, just basically quality of life, making a lot of skills now worth taking. Now there was only one other character that had skill changes as well, and it was Claptrap with only two changes. The first one being in his Boom Trap skill tree, the melee override Hyperion Punch animation was sped up. In version 1.0 of the patch, the skill speed itself was increased, but the animation didn't line up correctly after that. So they finally just fixed the animation, so it really didn't change his skill, just makes it look better now. They also added some custom features for his Vault Hunter EXE Meat Unicycle. Custom features are turned off by default, but that can be changed under the filter tool. So just because they are turned off by default and majority of players won't ever use them, I won't be covering that in this video, but you guys can see it in the full change log that I'll link down below. So with that, those are all the character changes. Now we can just move on to general changes, the mission rewards, and how they were reworked. In patch 1.0, some missions were given two possible uniques as rewards, and they didn't like that. So they reworked a lot of them. So each mission now only gives one unique, and the other weapon was moved somewhere else. The weapon the Bad Touch is now rewarded from Voyage of Captain Chef. Moonscraper is now rewarded from Boom Shakalaka. The Knot is given from Pop Racing. The Fibber is added to Empty Billowing. Lady Fist added to Nova No Problem. Bullpen rewards from Grinders. The Quest, not the Grinder itself. Purdy Lights is now given from the Last Request. And the Rose can be obtained on the first playthrough now. One other thing that's important to know is that the Hollow Dome Badass Round can give the player a Chronicler of Elpis. Plasmon, which is really great, another way to get it, and another way to make your character way too strong, so gotta love that, overpowered. Then we'll mention just some random changes. Fast travel to the sub-subconscious is now an option, which is really great for those that like to farm or just be able to go to different areas. 
Chubby Stalkers were buffed and now have a 10% chance to appear instead of a 0.1% chance, and they were given more loot to farm for, and who doesn't love the Chubbies? So really cool. Another big change that they worked a lot on is Mox Tails were buffed to last for an hour from 30 minutes and cost half as much. And the Oxygen Moxie Tail in particular now gives a crazy amount of O2 reduction. The ammo regen was buffed from 0.1 ammo per second to 1 ammo per second. The Healing Drink now adds 10% maximum health as well as its previous benefits. The Elemental Drink now buffs elemental damage. And the Melee Drink is now multiplicative from additive. Then finally, the damage drink is now also multiplicative and adds 10% critical hit damage. So now these definitely might be worth picking up, especially if you're gonna go farm a boss, farm really anything, or... Then those are really all the big changes that I saw, so we'll quickly touch on the few changes in patch 2.1. First being Moonstone Chest can now drop legendaries, which I guess I never thought about that they couldn't before, but that's good to hear, so now you can get your... And the Chubby's legendary drop chance was reduced from 60% to 30%, and the spawn rates of Chubby's were also turned down to 2%, because 10% was too much. So that's about it, guys. Those are all the changes that I thought were important. Obviously, there's a ton more... A lot doing with missions, a lot with gear, the small balancing and tweaking. Let me know what you guys think if you're going to try this out, download it. Let me know. There are a ton of other farming changes and boss changes. So be sure guys to check out the full change log and thank everyone for making this. Like and share if you guys like these community patch videos and want to see more in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next one.